How healthy is your backlog? Do you have enough projects on the books for the next 12 to 18 months so that you feel confident that you will be able to keep your guys and gals busy, feed the beast, and continue to grow as an organization? If you are confident, then you don't need to watch this video, but if you would like to add to your backlog and increase the effectiveness of your business development activities, then keep watching. Here's a classic idea from Selling 101. You cannot control productivity, but you can control activity. Focus on quality activity and the productivity will follow. What that means basically is you cannot control the number of projects that you land, but you can control the quality of your business development activity. And if you have high quality business development activity, you will land more projects. And as a result of that, have a healthy backlog. So let's dive into that in a little more detail. If you're going to have quality activity, first, you need to select your target, right project type, right location, right client, and very importantly, right point of contact. Make sure that within your clients, you're talking to the right people who make the decisions on who gets awarded the projects that you are pursuing. Don't make the mistake of amateur salespeople of not talking to the right people in your organization. Okay, so once you've got that target, you then need to focus in on quality activity. Quality activity involves three things. Number one, research. Number two, a safe space. And number three, time blocking. So the first thing I want to talk about there is the research. Let's dive into that in a little more detail. LinkedIn is a tremendous place to do research into the target companies that you are pursuing. So what you should do is go on their website and you should pull up the leadership in the organization and begin to go through that leadership, target the people that you think may be the decision makers for the types of projects that you're bidding on, go on to LinkedIn and begin to research who those folks are so that you can reach out to them and connect with them and begin to establish a relationship. And this is the message that I like to send people when I'm doing research on LinkedIn. First name, I noticed that we share connections in common and a commitment to the construction industry. Thanks in advance for connecting. And then I put my name there because most of the people that I'm researching are going to be second connections to me on LinkedIn. Use this little message. It's very sort of uh, soft, so to speak. It's just a, a non-confrontational. You're not trying to pitch anything right up front. You're just trying to connect with them. This is a very effective way to do a little bit of research. Okay, so once you've done that research in terms of LinkedIn and the website, then you can get into your safe space. And what do I mean by your safe space? If you're going to make any progress in terms of your business development, you have to focus time to that effort. And therefore, if you're stuck in your office all the time, getting constantly interrupted by people who are wanting your time and attention, it's highly unlikely that you're going to be able to focus on business development activities, such as picking up the phone and calling people. So you need to get into a safe space. Now, perhaps in your company, that safe space could be a conference room. When you're in that conference room, you find that people aren't distracting you or interrupting you so much. And you can put a little sign on the conference room that says, busy right? So that you can focus some time on that business development activity. And in that focusing of your time, what you really need to do is you need to get into time blocking. And what I mean by that is you need to set aside one to two hours on a consistent basis to focus in on business development. Now, don't focus in too much time. And what I mean by that is this. You might say, man, I need to fill up my backlog. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dedicate six hours every week to business development. And I'd like to say this up front. No, you're not. You will not do six hours up front, particularly if you're going from zero to six hours. So what you need to do is be a little more... Uh, conservative, so to speak. And instead of doing six hours, just cut it right in half and say, I'm going to do three hours a week of concerted business development. And this is what it's going to look like. I am going to spend one hour on Monday on the phone and one hour on Wednesday on the phone, and then one hour on Friday having lunch or breakfast with one of those people that I've contacted over the past few weeks in order to get to know them. Because remember, people purchase from folks that they know, trust, and like. So if you're going to get quality activity going, you've got to have research, you've got to get into a safe space, and you've got to do time blocking. Now, after you've done all of those things there, 
What you then need to be able to do is focus in on accountability because you've got to hold yourself accountable, but it's very likely if you're watching this video, you're a leader in a construction company that has people reporting to you. And what can happen when it comes to we've got to fill up the backlog is that people get pumped up and excited and then they go out there and they do a little bit of business development perhaps for a week or two and then they stop. Because frankly, most people are not comfortable with business development. And so what you have to do is be willing for accountable conversations. And let me say it, it, it like this. Let's say you have regular Monday morning meetings where you go over what's going on in terms of projects and perhaps you add in a little bit more there in terms of business development. Um, don't think that if you're ramping up business development, focusing on quality activity, that a check-in once a week is sufficient. I would recommend a check-in at least two or three times a week with the people who are involved in business development activities to make sure that they are doing what they said they're going to do in terms of contacting people and generating more leads for your business. Okay. Now, this is what this accountability conversation looks like. Did you do it? If not, why not? How can I help? Sit down with your people on a regular basis when it comes to following up with them on their business development activities and ask them those three questions. Did you contact that right person in the right client company? Did you have that conversation with them? If you didn't, why not? Are you overwhelmed? Are you too busy? Are you scared? <laughs> what is the issue here? And then you ask them, how can I help? And maybe you can help them a little bit because perhaps they need to contact someone who's at your level in the organization, in the client company. And therefore, what you can do is you can say, OK, let me make the contact and the introduction peer to peer and get you introduced to them so that you can begin to develop that relationship. OK, so in summary, keep in mind this one thing. You cannot control productivity, but you can control activity. Focus on quality activity and the productivity will follow. So in order to have quality activity, make sure that you have the right target and you're talking to the right people in the right client, uh, in the right client company, pursuing the right projects. Make sure you focus your time in so that you can be undistracted in a safe space do some effective research on LinkedIn and on their website so that you can get to know people and contact those people. And if you're leading people who are responsible for business development, make sure that you are holding them accountable. My name is Eric Anderton. Appreciate you watching this video. If you have any questions about strategic business development in your construction company, reach out to me via my website, constructiongenius.com or on LinkedIn. I'm always there and you can contact me there and I'm happy to help you develop the strategies that you need to execute in order to be successful in business development. Thanks again for watching.